Oh. All right, now say, yo, Adrian, I did it. Adrian! <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate. Butch Lehman out here at Oval Skate Park in Roseville, Minnesota, and today there's a special event happening. If any of you have heard of Skate IA, that's the association for inline and roller skating instructors to get certified in a variety of different skills so that we can teach skating to the next generation. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and uh, every year they host a different camp in a different location, different countries, different states, and this year, it's out here in Minnesota, so I figured I'd sign up and get my uh, certification in skate park instruction. So, pretty excited for that. Ton of people coming out for this. We've got kind of a small group in the skate park uh, certification group. Um, some of which I know. You guys probably know Caleb Smith. He's been on this channel a couple times, as well as Casey. So, it's gonna be a good time today. Really long day. It's looking like it's gonna be a hot one. I got here a little bit early to stretch, to warm up a little bit and uh, it's looking like it's gonna be beautiful. So anyway, I invite you guys to come along for the ride and definitely check out Skate IA. I'll leave the link to their website down in the description. If that's something you're interested in, if you ever thought about coaching skating, teaching skating, um, it's definitely something that I think is going to help take rollerblading, inline skating, and quad skating to that next, that next level of social acceptability. Anyway guys, let's roll into this. Here at Oval Skate Park, there's not a lot of ramps, but we do have this mini ramp. It's a metal one. It's got a spine on the exit. Over on the other side, we've got a quarter pipe here. We've got another couple of spines in a line. This little line's kind of fun. You can get different things in here. We've got a tiny metal launch box, a couple rails up top on the pyramid over here. Over here we have a roller, really rustic old school looking quarter pipe. Then one of my favorite things about this skate park is there are a couple of rails and they're movable and so you can set up different lines. We've got this little kink rail and there's a tiny little rail way out there. All right, so there are actually three parts to the Skate IA skate park certification process. The first of which is a written test, then there's a skills test, and then lastly, there's a teaching test. Now I'm gonna take you guys for a ride along on the skills test so you can see what's all covered in this. Really, it's seven basic skills for the skate park, starting with a ramp stall. And for me personally, I love launching out of stuff, so I had to take advantage of that, that wall to stall on, but it could just be done on a quarter pipe. Next, you need to be able to drop in. Very essential skill for navigating a skate park. I did one forward and one backward just for good measure. Another essential skill that's needed at a skate park is being able to launch or exit a ramp, whether it's on a fly box or a quarter pipe. It doesn't really matter, the process is still the same. For me personally, I absolutely love fly boxes. It's one of my favorite features any skate park could have. So I threw a 360 over that one. A little Luke hand grab just for good measure. Next there's gonna be some stalls and some grinds, starting with a backside grind, a pretty basic one. I had to throw the look back in there just, just to make it fun. Uh, next, we've got a 180 on transition, and there's a couple different types of 180s you can do, like this one with a 180 landing fakey, and then you can do a 180 on transition like a quarter pipe where you actually come back and forward. 
So I wanted to do one of each just to cover the bases. Again, very essential skill to have when navigating a skate park. Got another drop in here. This is the part where I kind of forgot what I was going to do next, so I had to think about it and process a little bit. Fortunately, it wasn't like a timed X Games run or anything like that. But then it came to me, front side grind. You gotta get the rest of the grinds in. For this one, I chose the long kink rail. Really fun obstacle. It's uh, movable, which is kind of cool, but it's also really heavy, so definitely helpful if you have another hand. Next, you have to be able to air spine. A lot of skate parks back in the days had spines. Not as common of a feature anymore with all the plazas. One of my personal favorite features, though. Lastly, I'm going to wrap this up with one more grind, and this is my go-to safety grind. It's the sole grind. We'll go ahead and throw a right foot one, which is my regular, and then a left foot one, my switch grind, just for good measure. Uh, and that's the skills certification. Not super difficult, but uh, one of the pieces to earning your skate park certification. Again, there's also a written test, which I found not too difficult. It goes over some of the theory in the handbook, and the handbook is really helpful with a lot of acronyms to memorize that help sequence the process. And then lastly, there was that teaching test, and that one was very hands-on. We had to demonstrate things, simulate it with uh, other classmates pretending to be the students. So, really cool program. I would highly recommend it. We just finished our long eight hour shifts. Second day here in 90 degree weather. Four of us going through the trials and tribulations of the skate park. Obviously I've wanted to get certified for skate park teaching for a while. Um, I really love the way Skate IA structures everything. You know, even though we have many years of skating experience, um, teaching isn't necessarily a part of that. So having them come in, break down the teaching process, help us break the moves into individual components, you know, the core parts, the essential things of teaching. Well, I feel very privileged to be here and be the only quad skater, but I think it's really important, you know, no matter if you're inline or quad skater, to, if you want to instruct, learn how to instruct. Yeah, what we really learned was how to teach. They gave us a great teaching model to, to show kids how skills get breaking down theoretically. So that was really special to, to get the science of rollerblading. You're going to run into people. People are going to have questions. And you might not be teaching structure classes, but there's going to be an occasional person that's going to want to learn from you. And having just the knowledge here to be able to break down a move and say, hey, this is what you need to know to, to do that, I think that's really, really valuable. I also love that being the only quad skater here, everybody was great and helped me in anything I needed, gave me advice. I think I taught them a few things on if they teach some quad skaters. So it was a great family. We all did everything really well. So I, I would do it again in a heartbeat and suggest anybody else or any quad skaters who want, please come out. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. And here's our uh, instructor. <laughs> Sonic, it was fun taking your class. Oh, thank you very much. No, this much. was kind of a new experience for you on the skate park side of things. Yeah. Had a little bit of background there, but you killed it. You did a great job teaching. Thank you so much. And lucky enough, I had this awesome group of uh, candidates going for their instructorship. So we had, you know, multiple candidates, 20 plus years of aggressive skating experience. They were also amazing, open-minded individuals, just wanted to like learn as much as possible. And it was great dissecting all the moves with them and then also seeing them in action. And most importantly, seeing them like take something they love and find a new way, new potential to take it someplace new. Yeah, so the instructor certification gives you a lot of options. So even if you're not interested in teaching, it's a great way to improve your own understanding of skating. As a certified skate instructor, you are now a skating professional. I mean, obviously you get lots of other benefits, like you get discounts on all sorts of products. You get access to our resources, our community, our teaching skills, our events. But it, it's a, you know, Skate IA is a very well respected organization these days. It's coming up a lot across uh, people's minds. So you are part of the family if you're part of Skate IA. You guys have heard me talk about this on the channel all the time, but as skaters, especially for those of us that are more experienced, that are older, ultimately it's about being a good ambassador for the sport. And the only way the sport's gonna grow is if we have people that are out there in the public, being good representatives, keeping that air of positivity, and teaching that next generation. We've all noticed that you know, the age demographic is getting older and older, but we have potential. Blading is in an influx right now, it's growing, and uh, it needs people to sustain that. And I think this is a great program for it, so I'll leave a link down in the description below if this is something you guys are interested in looking at. I would highly recommend it. I had a great experience, it was a lot of fun. 
and I can't thank these people enough for coming out here to Minnesota and making it convenient for me. So thanks everybody for watching and we'll check you in with the next episode of Roll Minnesota. Peace everybody.